I want to go through the plants that are here as at now. This is one month in. So in this container, I have my tropical mint that is doing well. Here I have a different type of mint. I do not know its name as at yet, but there's a mint here. And then in this container, I've, uh, I just recently planted a Malaba spinach, which is a different type of nerema, and it's yet to pick. And then in this down three containers, I have spinach, which is also called Swiss chard, also doing well. I seem to be getting some mildew, which I'll find a way to deal with. And then on the main garden, the garden down here, I have my Chinese spinach, which is so delicious and it is doing so well. There are some onions in here, which are spring onions that I planted from store-bought onions. And then I have a spinach here, my dill, which is struggling a bit but it is removing new shoots so I think all is well and then I have my celery doing well no this is not celery this is parsley I have my parsley doing well the celery not so much it's been struggling but I hope it will pick I'm just in love with this spinach it does so well we've already harvested once you can see and it is still bringing new growth very well so I have a bunch of potatoes that if you remember when I was doing the bed I buried some food scraps in here and there were uh, potato peels and this one grew from the peels I've been so excited about them but I think I'll have to remove them because first of all I don't think they will remove good potatoes that's just my belief but even if they do how will I harvest because I do not want to disturb this bed at all so once the potatoes are down there what am I going to do so I think I'm just going to remove them so that the other plants get space because as they're growing like this there's some dania some coriander down here that seems to be I don't know getting the shade too much when here I have some lettuce, lettuce, they are just four plants that I got some seedlings the other day so they are just squatting here, uh, I'll find somewhere to put them, I'm just putting them here to keep them alive then I'll transfer them. And then another onion, there's a spinach here that is doing well but the, the mildew is becoming a bit too much, there's um, this, believe it or not, is basil. It's been struggling a lot. I don't know what happened to it, but it looks like it's going to flower. This is just soil. It looks like it's going to flower, so I'm hoping to get some seeds and start afresh. I hope it, it flowers fully and gives me seed. Down here, I have a carrot that I planted from the back end of a carrot. Uh, I hear if you plant them you won't get carrots but you can get flowers and get seeds so it is an experiment that I'm doing and I'm hoping it's going to be successful I have um, my sage here since I planted it it has not grown much but lately I've seen new shoots so I think it's going to do well behind here I have a rosemary that I just planted from a cutting it is also removing a bunch of new shoots so also doing well here I have a sunflower or it is a flower of the sunflower family I bought some beans and I got like a single sunflower seed so I just put it here it germinated and it's still growing I'm waiting now to see what flower it will give here I have my apple mint doing so well I love it so much. 
another onion we already seen the lettuce so yeah that is the main garden as we pan this way and forgive that is my trash I have these succulent plants here that are doing so well I have my what is it called what is it lemon grass that since I planted it has not removed new shoots but I'm just going off of these green parts that have not turned brown yet and saying it is still alive it will it will shoot at some point and then here I have my nostalgian plant also struggling but it is so busy removing flowers that I'm just happy with it like that yeah so from there I have my lavender also doing well I can't wait for it to flower and it is removing new shoots down here here so I think it's going to, to bush so much and become lovely my perfume plant removing a lot of new growth I hope it flowers I've never had this plant before I hope it flowers I have onions here that I planted in my previous video if you haven't seen it go and check it out I'll link it in the description box where I planted these onions from sprouted bulb onions and they are doing well here I have uh, rose, two rosemary plants that I planted from cutting and yeah they are removing new shoots so they are also doing well here I have my daisies that I planted uh, from seed I just transplanted them into this container yesterday so we'll wait and see they are white daisies so I'm looking forward to adding color and flower into this garden here I have these are strawberries there are three plants I just transplanted them into this container yesterday I hope they are going to pick and give me a lot of fruits they don't seem to be doing well but new shoot is coming so I am hopeful and then I have this ornamental plant here that is so glorious isn't she lovely and another one here that I'm propagating from a cutting I have a succulent and then this is my money plant that I got from the nursery I got it not in a very good condition but I was sold for a very cheap price and I said I'm going to work on it and work with it so new shoots coming yeah I'll see what I can do with this I have another plant here that I'm also propagating from cutting, struggling, but I hope it does well. So here I have some tomato seedlings and I don't know why they are turning purple. I don't know if it is the soil, I just don't know, they are all turning purple and they seem to be stunted, they are not growing that much. And these bigger ones that I transplanted into this container. They are also turning purple, but they are starting, starting to turn green, so I hope they do well. So yeah, that is the garden as at now. I will keep updating you so that we see how it looks and it is just my hope that by me showing this will inspire someone to just grow something in their little space. because. Yeah, this is even if it is a small amount of food it is still food and it is just transforming this my little space into a green space I love it so much and yeah oh here I forgot I have a money plant growing from this jug and it is removing new shoots so we are doing good and here I have this other succulent that is also doing well and it is flowering so yeah it is my hope that by showing you how much I'm growing in this little space that it's going to just inspire someone to grow because the joy of putting a seed down and getting a fruit or food from it is so 
glorious so thank you so much for watching and subscribe so that you keep up with me and this is my lovely garden so that we can grow together and yeah we see how this one turns out thank you so much for watching love you minute and remember to just grow something just grow something even if it's one indoor plant just grow something so thank you for watching bye